So in this video, I'm going to talk about Markovnikov's rule. And so this is just a rule with HX alkene addition reactions. And so if you don't know what that is, you can go back a previous video. I'll put the annotation right here that you could click on to essentially get a refresher. And so let's begin with Markovnikov's rule. And so what this rule states at is that in HX alkene addition reactions, the hydrogen becomes attached to the alkene carbon with fewer alkyl substituents, while the X group becomes attached to the alkene carbon with more alkyl substituents. And if you know the mechanism, this is pretty easy to think about because electron deficient reagents will add to a multiple bond to produce the most stable carbocation intermediate. So the key word there is you want to produce the most stable carbocation. And so let's take this molecule for example. We have the alkene right there and now we're going to do an HX addition. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an HBr. And so obviously the first step is for the alkene to attack the hydrogen. And then those electrons get kicked off to the bromine. And so now, as you can see on the right, we have essentially two choices. So two carbocations that could form because the hydrogen can get added to either side. However, only one is going to form because only one is forming a stable carbocation. And so as you can see down here, we have a primary carbocation, which is very unstable, very unlikely to form. While up here, we have a tertiary carbocation, which is relatively stable and a lot more likely to form. And so essentially what we can do is we could delete this one down here. This program won't let me erase it, but we'll just cross that out. And so what's going to happen next is the bromine is going to come in and attack that carbocation. And then you're going to get this product. So this would be the final product that you get and that would be considered the major product. Just keep in mind here, I didn't draw in all of the hydrogens, I just drew in the important ones that we need to consider. So obviously there are other hydrogens attached to that, to this molecule and implied carbons as well. And so to summarize, for a Markovnikov addition, the HX places the X on the more substituted carbon because of the essentially just look at the middle the carbocation intermediate which one's more stable and this occurs by a two-step mechanism in the next video we're going to talk about how carbocations can rearrange but for this one the most important thing is to know that markovnikov additions place the x on the more substituted carbon and the h on the less substituted carbon. We're going to talk about in future videos anti-Markovnikov additions as well and those are a little different. And so that pretty much sums it up for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.